Beach Girl versus Snow. Beach Girl versus Snow, and shout that. vacation in, Can in Canada. <coughs> we'll go skiing, of course. <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters, our contest master, and especially our welcome guest. It was a beautiful, sunny January day. Oh, about 25 degrees. <sighs> My cousin decided to take me skiing. Oh, it was a dream come true. I Relish the idea of going down the slopes so majestically. <sighs> we'll see about that. <laughs> we get to the ski lodge and we're walking up. And I see an ambulance parked out front. <laughs> I'm thinking that's pretty cool. They're being proactive. <laughs> I like that. So we go inside. We get fitted. Got the skis. Got my poles. Of course, you gotta have mittens and goggles. Gotta look good going down the slopes. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I catch a glimpse of myself in the mirror. It was more along the lines of Smurfette meets the Pillsbury Dough Girl. <laughs> <sighs> That's okay. We walk outside. We're ready to get started. Remember that ambulance that I thought was for decoration? The doors were open in the back, and there was a girl on a stretcher, and they're pulling her into the ambulance. I'm like, oh, God, this is not good. <laughs> I turned to my cousin, and I said, well, do you think I need lessons? <laughs> I said, yeah, we got it. Two things to remember. Feet straight, knees bent, poles on the side. I'm like, okay. Hey, if he thinks I can do it, I can do it, right? I can do this. So he's kind of teaching me, and we've got about 50 feet to go before the line starts for the ski lift. And I'm sliding, I'm sliding. I used to skate when I was a kid, right? I said, I'm sliding. It's not just like skating. I'm sliding, sliding. Bam! Right into the guy in front of me. <laughs> I turn to my cousin, I go, well, how do you stop? <laughs> slide and slide and I do the high thing. And you know what? It worked. I was like, cool. Okay, I got it. It's all under control. I'm approaching the ski lift and I'm sliding and I'm stopping and I'm gliding and I'm stopping. We're just having a great time. <laughs> and we're getting in closer and closer and I realize the ski lift isn't stopping. How am I getting on? And the next thing I remember, my cousin pulls me down into the chair and I finally figure out what's going on. I'm on the ski lift. One of my poles is back there. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I grab my cousin's pole. <laughs> he knows what he's doing, right? Or at least he better. I need two poles. <laughs> we get up there, and it's just beautiful. I'm looking around. Everything's so white. White as snow. And then terror strikes. If it didn't stop when I got onto the ski lift, it's not going to stop when I get up. What do I do? I was informed that there's a pack of snow, and it goes on a decline, and you just put your skis on it, and you swerve to the left, because you don't want the ski lift to hit you in the back of the head. <laughs> what? <laughs> I am here to tell you that the ski lift did not hit me in the back of the head. <laughs> That's because I was on my butt. <laughs> and there's my genius cousin pulling me out of the way again. <sighs> Brush myself off. There's no turning back at this point. We're at the slopes. 
and everybody kind of glides down, and it just, it looks so beautiful. <laughs> and I know that's going to be me in a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're off. And we're off, and my, and my knees, my <coughs> skis are straight, my knees are bent, my poles are to my side, and it's getting faster, and it's getting faster. And I do the pie thing, and I'm not stopping. <laughs> I do the next thing I could possibly think. I sit down. <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> My cousin turned me and goes, you okay? It doesn't stop. How do you stop? Well, you just, you know, you do the pie thing. You do the pie. I was like, all right, maybe I did it wrong, right? My first time. First time seeing snow. Get back up. And I get down, and I'm, my knees are bent, and I'm doing it again. Do the pie thing. It's not stopping. And then I realize, oh, all of a sudden I see orange netting in front of me. <laughs> you know, I'm on a mountain, and that orange netting is the only thing that's keeping me from staying up here. I sat down. <laughs> <laughs> and of course he comes back to me and goes, are you okay? No. <laughs> how do you turn? This is not an easy way to learn how to ski. <laughs> ha! I figured out how to turn. Point my skis in the direction I want to go and just go. Have another turn. Sat down. <coughs> point, get up. Point my skis in the direction I want to go. <laughs> After doing this about a dozen times, I was so frustrated. At this point, about half an hour has gone by, and I've only gone not even halfway down the mountain. My first time. I take my skis off, hold them with my poles, and I start walking down the mountain. I was devastated. About this time, my cousin's girlfriend comes back around, and she sees me, and she's like, what happened? I'm over it. This isn't working. She gives me some better instructions to use my hips instead of just my knees. You know, my genius cousin, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And I'm here to tell you today, it was victorious. This is me at the bottom of the ski hill. It took an hour, but I made it. <laughs> Let me just tell you, the next time I go to Canada, it will be during the summer. <laughs>